Good morning, everyone. This morning we're going to learn about how to add, remove, and remove an extension, and specifically the G Suite training extension. That extension, the icon looks like this over here in the right hand corner. I've already added it, so that's what it looks like when you're in Google Docs, Sheets, Slides. Um, but we want to go ahead and remove it, so we're going to go up here to the right hand corner, click More Tools and then click extensions. We want to remove this extension. Again, you could remove any of your extensions this way. So you'd remove them. And if I come back over here and press refresh, it will go away. So we want to add this extension. So we would go to G Suite training extension. And that just does a Google search since I did it up here and it's going to be the first one. So the Chrome Web Store, if you don't know much about it, it is basically where you can add extensions, um, add things to Drive, all kinds of stuff. So it's, think of it like the iTunes Store, except it's way, way more stuff. So when you're at this extension, you'll just say add to Chrome, and it's going to ask to do all these things. You just add extension. So notice that it popped up here. Um, that's normally where extensions are added. You can see all these extensions that I already have on mine. Uh, but you're going to find it most useful in Docs. You can't use it anywhere other than in the G Suite. So we will exit out of that. And we'll come back over here to our document. Again, I'll press refresh so that the icon pops up. And there it is. So it says what's new in G Suite, and it'll start you on a tutorial. You can find out what's new. And you're going to have a um, video or an audio tutorial start in the bottom. You can skip to next, all that kind of stuff. But the useful thing, in, in my opinion, is when you click over here on this icon, this is going to pop up. You can do a search for maybe a specific question that you have, a specific tutorial. Um, but all of these different categories, so sharing and collaborating, you could click on that. And it has all types of tutorials on how to do that thing. So it's really helpful um, when you're in the middle of something and you have a question right then notice that all of the videos are pretty short or the the audio files are pretty short so they they don't take a super long time so those are pretty useful and like i said they are in all of the g suite applications so there is something once you install this extension it's going to be there for your slides presentation and it's always there unless of course you want to remove it, which again, you can do up here in more tools. All right.